guys, I'm Lauda and you're watching Lauda X Annie. So today, I'm going to do my July favourites because I haven't read many books this month because I've been very busy. So let's get right into it. So first off, I have a clothing item and it is this beautiful top from New Look. So it's kind of like, it's kind of got capes, batwing sleeves. It goes right up to the collar and it's got these kind of shoulder things like this on it and also the fact that the pattern is basically a throwback to the 80s and I feel like with even the rolled up sleeves I feel like I am back in whams either basically or you know let's dance china girl either modern love either thin white duke oh my god I should just call myself the thin white duke that's casually what I'm gonna do that's all for clothing now on to beauty first up I have the fortune favours the brave palette by Revolution, uh, Makeup Revolution London. It is stunning. It is stunning. Oh my goodness. It is stunning. Ha ha. I love how I've already lost one colour because I'm like oh, hip pan. But this palette is so good. And it's only like a tenner. It's so worth it. Next up, I have this mascara from Max Factor. It's a voluptuous false lash effect mascara. I love this mascara. I use it every single day. It beats my Urban Decay Perversion mascara, which I love, but I need to get another one of that. Next up is an amazing dupe for MAC Swirl Lip Liner, and it is the Topshop Lip Contour Pencil in uh, frame, and it is actually such a dupe for it. It's so good, and it's half the price. It's only six fifty from Topshop, and it's only like five pounds something um, if you use your ten percent discount shin card. Next up is a lipstick from MAC, and it is. Whirl, which is a matte lipstick, a matte nude. I'm in, oh, it smells so good. I'm in love with this colour so much and oh, I'm so into nudes now and this is like the best nude. Next up is another MAC lipstick, but this one is Velvet Teddy, which is sort of softer nude, okay, more peachy nude. I love this so much. And finally for beauty, a great lip uh, liner that goes with Velvet Teddy and this is the Rimmel Lasting, Fim Lasting Finish Lip Liner in Tiramisu and it's a perfect colour to go with Velvet Teddy. Now on to TV shows of the month. First up we have Gossip Girl. Around this time last year I got Netflix for the first time and fell in love with Gossip Girl and uh, I'm now re-watching it every night with my tea because I just love it. Also Pretty Little Liars of course has come back for its uh, 6B? Is this 6B? Yeah, this must be 6B. Um, and season 7. Or no, is this seven, season 7A? Is this 7A? I don't actually know. I think this is season 7. I can't actually remember. But anyway, it's either 6B or start of season 7. I'm in love with it. It's it's so good. So good. But this is the last season, I think. And I could cry. And finally, for TV shows, it's The Night Manager. I got the box set from CEX and I actually have just binge, I just binge watched it one night. Every single episode, all six episodes I binge watched, fell in love with Tom Hiddleston is a credit to everybody and he deserves his Emmy domination for it. Now on to movies, I went to go see in the cinema. I have two this month. First was Ab Fab that I went to go see with Ryan. It was amazing. Mark Gatiss just cameoed at the start. It was brilliant and then also Benedict's mother was in it as well which was really good and it's just really funny and oh I just loved Ab Fab. And the second was Ghostbusters. I didn't think I'd like Ghostbusters to be brutally honest with you but do you know something? Who are you gonna call Ghostbusters? I actually thoroughly enjoyed it. So there you go Kieran if you're watching this. I'm saying it on camera for the internet to see. I loved Ghostbusters. You happy now? Kieran, by the way, is my little brother, in case you were wondering. Um, hi, Kieran! Doing that, because he's going to love that. Now, on to my favourite part of the month. Songs of the month! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I have one, two, three. Well, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight songs and one album. So let's start with the album. It is Last Year Was Complicated by Nick Jonas. This album is a song track to my life just now. I love it to pieces. Unhinged is probably the song I listen to most because it's literally me. Now let's play the songs. First song I have for you is Ghostbusters, the theme tune, but this is the... Um, this is the Ray Parker Jr. version. Oh, 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 
That was Ghostbusters. Okay, this song is another song from Ghostbusters, but this one is by L King and this is Good Girls. <laughs> Good Girls. Next up we have a song that I was listening to basically the whole way through, um, you know, <laughs> Verity's run um, when I was doing Find Me. And this is Alive by Sia. <laughs> by Sia. The next song is probably, no it's here, and it is Verge by Owl City. <laughs> fun song to listen to but that was Verge by Ill City. Next up is Water Under the Bridge by Adele. <laughs> Under the Bridge by Adele. The ne next song is Buddy It by Churches featuring Hayley Williams. <laughs> is magnetized by Tom O'Dell.
was magnetized by uh, uh, Tom Modell. The last song is from a band that I absolutely adore. To the ends of the earth, if I can find it. It literally is like the band of my dreams. I actually adore them. This is Bastille with Good Grief. So, what would you little maniacs like to do first? <laughs> July favourites. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys on Monday with my London video because if you didn't know as you're watching this video I'm in London right now and I will most likely be going to the Rolling Stones exhibition tomorrow when you're watching this but right now I'm filming this I am like a week ahead of myself because I'm pre-filming so I'll see you guys on Monday with my London video. Bye!